Picture this, a dimly lit room, the flicker of a black and white film dancing on the screen and in the spotlight. A woman whose magnetic presence effortlessly drew you into the world of cinema. Anne Bancroft, an actress of unparalleled talent and grace, has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of movie enthusiasts across generations. For some, it was her iconic portrayal of Mrs. Robinson in The Graduate that first introduced them to her enigmatic charm. Others may recall her in The Miracle Worker, where her portrayal of Annie Sullivan, the dedicated teacher to Helen Keller, showcased her remarkable acting prowess. Anne Bancroft's career spanned over five decades, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate with cinephiles worldwide. But did you know that she was born Anna Maria Luisa Italiano? or that she won an Academy Award for her role in The Miracle Worker. These are just a couple of the intriguing tidbits that make her life story even more captivating. So, as we delve deeper into the life and career of this cinematic legend, let us remember our own unique connection to Anne Bancroft and the unforgettable moments she brought to the silver screen. Strap in for a journey through the life of a remarkable actress, whose brilliance transcended time and generations. Get ready to be captivated by the lesser-known facets of Anne Bancroft's life and career. Here, 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 here. Anne Bancroft, the enigmatic actress Anne Bancroft, born Anna Maria Luisa Italiano on September 17, 1931, in the Bronx, New York, was an enigmatic actress whose career spanned over five decades. While she is best known for her iconic role as Mrs. Robinson in The Graduate, there are many lesser-known facets of her life and achievements that make her a truly remarkable figure in the world of cinema. Bancroft's journey to stardom was not without its challenges. Growing up in a working-class Italian-American family, she had to overcome societal expectations and financial constraints to pursue her passion for acting. Her determination led her to study at the prestigious American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York, where she honed her craft and laid the foundation for her future success. Before achieving fame in Hollywood, Bancroft made a name for herself on Broadway. In 1958, she won a Tony Award for her role as Annie Sullivan in The Miracle Worker. This powerful performance showcased her incredible talent and marked a turning point in her career. Interestingly, she would later reprise this role on the silver screen, earning an Academy Award for her portrayal of Annie Sullivan in the film adaptation of The Miracle Worker in 1962. Anne Bancroft's versatility as an actress was truly remarkable. While she is often associated with dramatic roles, she also had a knack for comedy. Her comedic timing shone in movies like The Graduate, where she portrayed the seductive Mrs. Robinson with a mix of sensuality and wit. This role not only earned her an Academy Award nomination, but also solidified her status as a Hollywood icon. Beyond her acting prowess, Bancroft was known for her dedication to her craft. She was a perfectionist who immersed herself completely in her characters. To prepare for her role in The Graduate, she delved into the psychology of Mrs. Robinson, creating a complex and unforgettable character. Her commitment to her roles left a lasting impact on the film industry and inspired generations of actors. Anne Bancroft's personal life was as intriguing as her career. She was married to comedian and director Mel Brooks for over 40 years, a love story that many found both surprising and heartwarming. Their marriage was a testament to the enduring power of love and laughter in the midst of Hollywood's often tumultuous relationships. Sadly, Anne Bancroft passed away on June 6, 2005 but her legacy lives on through her timeless performances and the indelible mark she left on the world of cinema. She was a trailblazer who broke barriers and proved that talent and determination could conquer any obstacle. In conclusion, Anne Bancroft's life and career are a testament to the transformative power of passion and perseverance. From her humble beginnings in the Bronx to her iconic roles on stage and screen, she remains an inspiration to aspiring actors and a beloved figure in the annals of Hollywood history. Three, 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 three. Anne Bancroft, a prominent actress, and her husband, Mel Brooks, had a unique wedding at New York City Hall. During the ceremony, a passerby served as their witness. This unconventional wedding took place in 1964. Additionally, Bancroft played a significant role in Oscar history. She presented the Academy Award to Sidney Poitier, when he won the Best Actor Oscar for his performance in Lilies of the Field in 1963. This moment was historic as Poitier became the first African-American to win the Best Actor Oscar. 
These are just a couple of intriguing facts about Anne Bancroft's life and career showcasing her unconventional wedding and her involvement in a groundbreaking Oscar moment. Anne Bancroft, a distinguished actress of her time, achieved a remarkable feat early in her career. Like Audrey Hepburn and Jennifer Jones, she secured an Oscar for Best Actress on her very first nomination. However, unlike them, she did not repeat this success in subsequent acting nominations. During the filming of The Last Hunt in 1956, Bancroft suffered a pinched nerve following an accident. As a result, she had to step down from the project, and her role was taken over by Deborah Packett. Furthermore, Anne Bancroft is among the select group of 17 actresses who have earned the prestigious Triple Crown of Acting, which includes winning an Academy Award, a Tony Award, and an Emmy Award. Her versatile talent and dedication to her craft solidified her place in the annals of acting history. Anne Bancroft's career was marked by both triumphs and challenges, but her contributions to the world of entertainment remain enduring and celebrated. Anne Bancroft, a renowned actress, had a notable career in Hollywood. After her contract with Fox expired, she returned to New York to enhance her acting skills. Bancroft enrolled in acting classes at HB Studios to refine her craft, especially for stage performances. Her career encompassed a wide range of roles in film and television. She is best known for her iconic portrayal of Mrs. Robinson in The Graduate, which earned her an Academy Award nomination. Bancroft's talent extended beyond the silver screen. She also excelled on stage, winning two Tony Awards for her work and two for The Seesaw and The Miracle Worker. Bancroft's dedication to her craft led her to unlearn some of the techniques she had acquired in Hollywood, demonstrating her commitment to becoming a skilled stage performer. Her decision to return to New York and further her acting education at HB Studios was a pivotal moment in her career. Throughout her life, Anne Bancroft's performances captivated audiences, and her legacy as a versatile and talented actress endures. Her contribution to both film and theater remains an integral part of entertainment history. Anne Bancroft was a celebrated actress known for her remarkable career in Hollywood. While there isn't substantial information available about her connections with Shirley Booth, Lisa Minnelli, or Rita Morno, we do have an interesting tidbit related to her iconic role in The Graduate. After portraying the seductive Mrs. Robinson in The Graduate, Bancroft revealed that for many years, young men would approach her and recite the famous line from the film, Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. This line became a cultural touchstone, forever linking Bancroft to the film's enduring legacy. In addition to her acting prowess, Anne Bancroft, along with her husband Mel Brooks and their son Max Brooks, achieved an impressive feat. They all became Emmy winners. This talented family made significant contributions to the world of entertainment, leaving a lasting mark on television and film. Anne Bancroft's career was marked by her talent and versatility, making her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Her portrayal of Mrs. Robinson and her family's Emmy-winning achievements are just a few highlights of her remarkable legacy. 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 In 1967, Anne Bancroft accepted the Oscar for Best Actress in a leading role for her remarkable performance in the film The Miracle Worker. This was a significant moment in her career, as she had already established herself as a talented actress in both film and theater. Her portrayal of Annie Sullivan in the movie, where she taught a blind and deaf Helen Keller to communicate, showcased her exceptional acting skills and earned her this prestigious award. During the early days of her career, Anne Bancroft faced a common challenge in Hollywood. Her real name, Anna Maria Tagliato, was considered too ethnic by 20th Century Fox. To address this, the studio offered her several options for a new stage name and she chose Bancroft because she believed it sounded dignified. This decision proved to be a wise one, as the name Anne Bancroft would become synonymous with her successful acting career. In addition to her well-known film and stage work, Anne Bancroft also had a stint as a radio actress. During this time, she performed under the name Anne St. Raymond. This aspect of her career is lesser known but showcases her versatility in the entertainment industry. Anne Bancroft's journey in Hollywood in the entertainment world was marked by talent and determination, from accepting Oscars to making strategic choices about her name. Her legacy as a gifted actress endures, making her a celebrated figure in the history of cinema. Anne Bancroft, known for her remarkable acting career, 
had a lesser known connection with Peruvian actress and singer Emma Sumac. She taught English to Emma Sumac, showcasing her versatility beyond the silver screen. And Bancroft's willingness to share her knowledge added another dimension to her legacy. While teaching Emma Sumac English might not have been her most famous endeavor, it demonstrated her commitment to helping others in the entertainment industry. And Bancroft's versatility was not limited to acting. She was a mentor and a guiding light for those seeking to expand their horizons. In June 2005, Anne Bancroft's memorial service in New York City witnessed a touching tribute. Paul Simon performed Mrs. Robinson, a fitting homage to her iconic role in The Graduate. Her The Miracle Worker co-star, Patty Duke, delivered a heartfelt eulogy, highlighting the enduring impact of their collaboration. Anne Bancroft's influence extended far beyond her filmography. Her dedication to her craft and her willingness to support fellow artists make her a timeless figure in the world of entertainment. Her legacy lives on through her work and the lives she touched along the way. As we draw the curtains on this retrospective journey through the illustrious career of Anne Bancroft, I implore you to take a moment to reflect. For in the realms of cinema and theater, Anne Bancroft was a luminary, a force to be reckoned with, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment. Her performances, rich and multifaceted, traversed the spectrum of human emotions. From her iconic portrayal of Mrs. Robinson in The Graduate to the powerful Anne Sullivan in The Miracle Worker, Bancroft's talent transcended mere acting. It was an embodiment of the human experience. Her ability to inhabit characters with depth and authenticity remains an inspiration to aspiring artists and discerning viewers alike. Now, I extend an invitation to you, dear reader, viewer. What memories of Anne Bancroft's performances resonate with you? Which of her roles stirred your soul, left you in awe, or perhaps touched you in a profound way? Share your thoughts, your reflections, for it is in the collective memory of her work that Anne Bancroft's legacy truly thrives. In closing, let us not forget the enduring impact of Anne Bancroft on the world of entertainment. Her brilliance illuminated screens and stages, forging connections with audiences across generations. As we bid adieu to this tribute, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for your time and interest in celebrating the extraordinary Anne Bancroft. Your participation in honoring her artistry is a testament to the lasting impression she has left on us all. With deep appreciation for the magic she brought to our lives, thank you for joining us on this cinematic odyssey.